Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and um, of course a lot of people are asking me the question when I think about receivers. So I've been using for a while the SDR Play RSPDX and uh, of course I purchased an AirSpy HF Plus Discovery in the recent months to test out and to be able to compare. I hear a lot of good things about this. And I was wondering if uh, indeed it could be better or, um, you know, what's the difference. And I'll give you here the positive and negatives of both. If you are a shortwave radio fan only, what I will say is that the AirSpy HF Plus does as well as the RSP DX in reception. At least as well. So... Um, you know, when you, if you see people saying, well, the, uh, this does so much better than this in receiving a signal, they're not testing it right. I'm sorry, but that's not at all what I see here. What I see here is two radios that are pretty much equal, and there is absolutely no difference in reception. Untrue. I will not uh, abide by that rule that, you know, uh, oh, yeah, it's so much better. No, it's not. Not from the test that I've done. Um, but it is as good. I'm not bashing it. It's actually very good. This, this Air Spy works great. Now, there is one thing I did observe is, is when there are some strong signals. I've seen it first on the CB band. Because there was a truck that was close to here was transmitting when there was snow removal. And both of the receivers were on the CB band at that time because I was looking at the different frequencies that the removal crews were using on the CB band with the uh, private trucks. And I noticed that every time a CBer would talk, that he was close to here, the AirSpy HF Plus Discovery would actually desensitize because it would overload. Not the SDR Play. Although I did see, and I will be fair, I did see that there was a little effect on the SDR Play or SPDX. And a waterfall, it was not, and it was really not as intense as the AirSpy HF Plus Discovery. And you know what? Uh, when I get close to the medium wave band, there's a lot of 50 kilowatt medium wave stations here. The AirSpy HF Plus Discovery is incapable of really working well. I get spurious signals everywhere, and I do not get those on the SDR Play. I do get a few spurious signals on the SDR Play. I have to say. I've mentioned it before. It has to do with the setting of the low frequency, which is um, basically the kind of the oscillator basic central frequency. Depending on what frequency it is, I sometimes have one or two signals that are spurious here and there. But the uh, AirSpy HF Plus Discovery is like crazy spurious signals everywhere when I go down to the medium wave band, rendering, rendering it very difficult to use, honestly. Um, they are, and I will say it, used on the same antenna, so that's something to, to note. Um, and uh, basically, when I am in shortwave, the shortwave in general performs really well. I'll be very fair, I'm not impressed at all with the test that I'm doing with the AirSpy HF Plus Discovery. I don't see how it could be better. Only place where I could understand somebody telling me, well, it's better. Um, I cannot really test it very much on medium wave, long wave, especially it's overloading anyways. So I can't test it at all because it craps out. Um, so maybe in a, a quieter environment than mine, um, maybe it could be better in, the, in, in that you know spectrum of frequency. It's possible, but I, I can't give a verdict there because I can't really uh, test both of them in that environment there. The uh, <clears throat> differences also uh, with the frequency range. So this and this on shortwave, medium wave, long wave, okay. Like it goes really down to the kilohertz and goes up to 30 megahertz without any problem. But this one stops at 31. This is a continuous receive up to 2 gigahertz. This one stops at 31, then starts at 60 up to 260 megahertz VHF. So if you're looking for a wide band receiver, this is not for you. This is for you. 
The other thing, well, their SPY HF Plus is 169 US dollars. So it puts it in a uh, price range that is higher than the RSP1A that SDR Play does. That is very good uh, at uh, about 119 bucks. Uh, and it, of course, is lower priced than the SDR Play RSPDX, but the RSPDX has three antenna inputs. That could be really good for anybody that's looking for uh, something that needs more than one antenna. And last but not least, uh, I will say that in the portable side, the uh, AirSpy uh, uh, HF Plus Discovery is actually very portable. So for the expeditions with you know a laptop or a tablet or whatever, it actually could be a better choice because of its small size to bring along. And the power consumption plug to the PC, I can't really compare. I haven't done any tests with that, but uh, it's obviously a more... Um, a, a smaller design and that's for sure so um, you know my personal opinion is I'm not impressed with the Air Aspire HF Plus Discovery it works very well on shortwave no doubt but um, I don't see anything that shows me that it's better than an SDR Play or any other um, RSP because I, I don't want to just test it against the SDR Play but I don't see anything better than any other software defined receiver out there uh, that has a decent performance. So that's my personal opinion and you take it or leave it and you do what you think. Uh, and last but not least, I will um, I will bash Air, Air Spy a little bit here and saying that uh, Air Spy is unfair in uh, controlling its environment and preventing uh, other companies from using their own software. Uh, they have been uh, doing kind of, uh, you know, any company that is getting a good competition to them, they actually remove them or prevent them from using SDR Sharp. And uh, I've heard a lot of stories and read a lot of stories about uh, the people behind the AirSpy HF Plus Discovery. Um, and I personally will just say one thing. This is the first and last device I've ever going to buy from them. Uh, that's one thing I will say also. Personal opinion, once again, take it or leave it and uh, hope you enjoy our videos. If you do, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.